when India and Pakistan won their independence from Britain in August 1947, the area was hotly contested. Under the partition plan provided by the Indian Independence Act, Kashmir was free to accede to either India or Pakistan. In 1949, 1965 and 1999, India fought a brief but bitter conflict with Pakistani-backed forces in November 1965 when the ceasefire did not militarize. United Nations Security Council demanded the representatives of India and Pakistan to meet with the spokesperson of Secretary General. In December 1971, council meeting was called for following the deterioration in relations between Jammu and Kashmir and East Pakistan. On 21st December 1971, Resolution demanded a durable ceasefire of hostilities and a withdrawal of all armed forces to the ceasefire line in Kashmir. Article 370 and 35A of the Indian Constitution were in the favour of disputed territory, but the Hindu nationalist BJP has long opposed Article 370 and had repeatedly called for its abolishment. The terrorist attacks in Mumbai, Pathan Court and most recently in Pulwama led to serious military escalation including airstrikes. Since January 1989 till January 2022, there are 95,971 killings, out of which 7,229 are custodial killings. 1,6400-123 civilians arrested. 110,459 structures destroyed, 22,941 women widowed, 107,857 children orphaned, and 11,247 women molested. Since the BJP has come to power, the situation of illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir has become worse. Telephone networks and internet are cut off in the region. Public gatherings are banned and tens of thousands of troops are sent in. Tourists are told to leave Kashmir under warnings of a terrorist threat. Modi-led government wants to snatch Jammu and Kashmir from Muslims and to make it a Hindutva region. In order to make it real for the people of IIOJK, Modi has made the territory a living hell.